Hi everyone today, we're going to take a look at the 5 best prebiotic and probiotic moisturizers on the market for this year. First we're going to show you our 5 best picks, then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a best prebiotic and probiotic moisturizers. You can find timestamps and links to all the products we mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Your body is a complicated biome and your skin is no different. Prebiotic skin care and probiotic moisturizer help to support a healthy skin biome and are an alternative to harsh anti-acne products that destroy the beneficial microbes along with the bad ones. I struggled for years with adult acne and tried everything in the book from DIY to prescription treatments and switching to prebiotic and probiotic skincare was a game changer. Between that and only sleeping on acne pillowcases, my skin is clearer than ever. Number 1. La Roche-Posay Prebiotic Moisturizer after trialing multiple products, the La Roche-Posay Prebiotic Double Repair Face Moisturizer is the product I use every single day. For my sensitive but oily, acne-prone skin La Roche-Posay's combination of prebiotics and oil-free moisture was exactly what I needed. My skin is clearer than ever other than the occasional hormone-driven blemish. The prebiotics in this moisturizer are provided by thermal water. Thermal water is taken from natural thermal springs and is rich in minerals. A long list of benefits have been attributed to thermal water but Healthline identified the four that have research behind them. Thermal water can reduce UV damage with antioxidants, improve moisture, reduce inflammation in the skin, and support your skin's natural biome by feeding beneficial bacteria. Along with the thermal water prebiotics, the moisturizer includes ceramide 3 and niacinamide which help to support the growth of the protective barrier provided by your skin cells so you don't lose more moisture. This barrier will also defend your skin from the damage of UV rays and pollution. On top of that, it has broad-spectrum SPF 30 protection which we all should be using on our faces anyway. That does make the moisturizer feel more opaque and thick when you're applying it and that got me nervous about breakouts when I first started using it. Particularly because I was testing this against the much thinner Hero Cosmetics moisturizer, literally applying each of them to half of my face for months, but I didn't run into any breakout issues and the La Roche-Posay side outperformed my other products. I also thankfully finished my trial before summer or else my half SPF covered face would have looked seriously weird. This is an oil-free product from their Tolerian line, which is made especially for those of us with sensitive or acne-prone skin. It's free of oils, dyes, fragrances, parabens, or drying alcohols. It does contain some silicone products and PG100 sterate if those are ingredients you are trying to avoid but doing the research for our silicone hair serums helped me understand how helpful silicone can be in cosmetics. I have been pairing this with the La Roche-Posay Thermal Water Body Lotion to prevent body acne as well. Pros, what I personally use, prebiotic thermal water, UV protection, ceramide 3 and niacinamide, oil-free, great for sensitive skin, cons, contains silicones, contains PEGs, moisture may not last as long as advertised. Number 2. Biosyn Squalane Plus Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. Those who don't like the weight of heavy moisturizers should consider Biosyn Squalane and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. Squalane is a non-comedogenic moisturizer that your skin will love because it already uses it. Squalane mimics the natural oils that your body produces. In fact, according to an article in Advances in Food and Nutrition Research, sebum, our natural oils, are made up of 13% squalane. If you have dry skin, squalane can help replace your lost oils. In the past squalane was obtained from animals through some less than ethical means, but these days, most squalane is sourced from plants. Biosense gets its squalane from sugar cane. This light gel moisturizer also contains lactococcus firm and lysate which is where they're getting the probiotic in their name. To be clear, lactococcus firm and lysate is a postbiotic. There are no live cultures in the product so you can't technically call it a probiotic. That isn't to say there aren't huge benefits to this ingredient. Lactococcus ferment is a probiotic that produces lactic acid, great for skin. 
The lysate portion means that the cells in the ferment have been split apart, releasing the contents that were trapped behind cell walls so they're easier for your skin to make use of the different components. Users tend to either fall in love with this or find it irritating, probably the ginger extract. They make a 0.5 ounce bottle which is probably worth testing out before going for the full-size bottle. Pros, lightweight gel, red seaweed and ginger extracts, exfoliating lactic acid, nourishing lactococcus ferment lysate, vegan and cruelty-free, cons, not really a probiotic, pricier, not enough moisture for some. Number 3. The New Company. Pre and Probiotic Culture Moisturizer. The New Company. Barrier Culture Moisturizer understands the difference between prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic and we love to see it. The lightweight gel to cream claims to contain all three, though they're riding the line on actually being probiotic. This luxury moisturizer is designed to nourish your skin's biome and then prevent your skin's natural barriers from losing moisture with squalane, ceramides, and niacinamide. It's pricier than some, but with an ingredient list like this, it's worth the splurge. For prebiotics, this moisturizer contains polysaccharides from chicory root and starch from potatoes. I'm not going to lie, potato starch threw me a bit, but the point is to feed the good bacteria on my skin and, I mean, I love eating potatoes. My skin biome deserves a little treat too, right? For probiotics, they include Lactobacillus plantarum, the culture used to make fermented foods like kimchi. Their website acknowledges that having live bacteria in cosmetics is difficult but they've gotten around this by using a patented process on the Lactobacillus plantarum that preserves the cells enough that when the cream is applied, your skin can't tell the difference between live Lactobacillus plantarum and non-living Lactobacillus plantarum. So technically the culture is postbiotic, but your skin thinks it's probiotic. The purpose of this is to boost your skin's natural defenses by introducing a threat. Sort of like a vaccine so that your skin will be more ready to fight off the next bad bacteria you come in contact with. To hydrate and improve skin texture, the Barrier Culture Moisturizer is packed with squalane, derived from olives, to mimic your skin's natural moisture barrier, as well as ceramides to bolster your skin cells, and niacinamide to lock in moisture and boost your skin's natural defenses. To reduce inflammation and redness, they also included extracts of calendula and chamomile. Pros, pre, pro, and postbiotics, gel to cream formula won't feel heavy, vegan and cruelty-free, fragrance-free, Cons, pricier, no SPF, cells recognized as live but not actually living. Number 4. Tula Probiotic Skin Care 24 to 7 Moisture Day and Night Cream. For those who like their products to make use of the healing properties found in nature, check out Tula's Probiotic Skin Care 24 to 7 Moisture Day and Night Cream. Founded by a dermatologist, Tula loves to include botanical extracts in its products, and for good reason. These extracts can fight oxidation, reduce inflammation and redness, be antimicrobial and antifungal, and promote the general health of your skin. This cream contains extracts of blueberry, green tea, camelina, wild flax, turmeric, apple, watermelon, chicory, and lentil fruit as well as oils of Mexican juniper wood, palo santo wood, orange, lemon, safflower, olive, and elong elong flower. That's a plant full list. Chicory root serves as the prebiotic here to support your biome. For probiotics, they included yogurt extract and bifida ferment lysate though the ingredient list clearly states that it contains no active cultures so we're actually dealing with postbiotics again, but I think we're used to that by now. Bifida ferment lysate is a great culture choice when it comes to benefits to the skin. It's packed with proteins that help repair damaged skin, ease inflammation, and prevent further UV damage. It's a main ingredient in the famous Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair line. In case you couldn't tell by the 24-7 in the name and all those botanical oils, this cream is meant to be very hydrating. It accomplishes this long-lasting moisture with squalane, glycerin, safflower oil, olive oil, lipid-rich alcohols, not the drying ones, and hydrogenated vegetable oil. This is great for folks of most skin types other than those who have a high sensitivity to added oils. 
Their product info says that this is non-comedogenic and if you can use moisturizers that aren't oil-free, then you should be good to go. As someone with exceptionally reactive skin who gets a breakout from just looking at a face oil, when I see hydrogenated vegetable oil on an ingredient list, I start running. So just be aware of the type of moisture your skin likes. Pros, pre and postbiotics encourage a healthy biome. Squalane restores moisture, more botanicals than we can list, great for all but highly acne prone. Cons, does not contain live cultures, PEGs and hydrogenated vegetable oil, contains fragrance, not vegan, yogurt. Number 5. Saturday Skin Pretty Pop Pre and Probiotics Cream. Saturday Skin's Pretty Pop Prebiotics and Probiotics Whipped Cream appears to be coming in with actual live probiotic cultures. There's nothing on their product page or website that states that their probiotics do not contain live cultures and this line of K-Beauty creams is often listed as one of the few live culture probiotic skincare products. It contains four different cultures, Lactobacillus ferment, Streptococcus thermophilus ferment, Lactococcus ferment lysate, and Bifida ferment lysate. The two lysate cultures are postbiotic, not alive, because lysate denotes that their cells have been broken apart for easier absorption. The first two, however, appear to be live cultures so make sure you're keeping an eye on the expiration date as the shelf life of live probiotics is going to be shorter than typical moisturizers. Pretty Pop also has prebiotics in the form of sucrose, cornstarch, and maltodextrin to fuel these good bacteria. It's formulated for dry skin and skin that has lost some elasticity and needs smoothing or plumping. That makes it a good choice for aging skin that could use a little more spring in its step. Exceptionally oily skin that is prone to acne may not be the best candidate for this moisturizer. To achieve this, it's packed with niacinamide, glycerin, hydrogenated lecithin, shea butter, and adenosine which is known for its ability to soften the appearance of wrinkles. For botanicals the formula includes extracts of Texas cedarwood, okra, white lupin, orange peel, lemon peel, grapefruit peel, eucalyptus, morina, lavender, and rosemary. That said, it does contain denatured alcohol, a drying and mattifying agent, so if you're trying to avoid this ingredient, skip this one. Pros, appears to contain live cultures, hydrating and smoothing for skin that needs plumping, vegan and free of gluten, artificial fragrances or dyes, nourishing botanicals like okra, white lupin, rosemary leaf, cons, contains PEGs, contains denatured alcohol, need to watch the expiration date, pricey for a 1.5 ounce bottle.